Uh, well, fast my tag is Guru Maitz on Lothram to you, and uh, welcome again to the Alamanos. Um, I've got to know you well over the last few years, um, um, and, and you're interested in Manx, but uh, for those who aren't maybe familiar with the work you do, what, um, what's your position and um, what sort of work are you involved with in Ireland? I'm, I work in the University of Limerick, I'm a senior lecturer in Irish, so the head of the Irish section there. I work in Irish medium teaching, uh, so I don't really teach Irish, I teach things through the medium of Irish, uh, mostly linguistics and things from the 17th to the 20th century from literature and civilization. Mm -hmm. And what about, where does Manx fit into all that then? <laughs> that um, seems to preclude Manx to me, so where does that come from? Well, it's, it's on Manx. the periphery, all right, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, Manx is one of the Gaelic languages, so it's uh, linguistically quite closely related to Irish and to Scottish Gaelic as well, which are areas we do cover, but it's more of my research interests really than, mm. uh, than what I teach. Uh, so um, Manx is, mm. as I said, one of the one of the Gaelic languages. It's very similar to some of the languages, so the dialects spoken in the east of Ireland and probably the southwest of Scotland. Some similarities as well with the dialects of the southwest, I'd say as well. Okay. It's. Uh, I'm not so interested, perhaps, in the history of Manx and the linguistics of Manx, but more the the current situation, uh, how it's been living through the last thirty to forty years or so. Yeah. Um, similar studies in Irish, of course. This my main body work is in contemporary Irish, contemporary Irish sociolinguistics, language and society. Yeah. Why yeah. people speak Irish, how they speak Irish, and uh, what stops them speaking Irish, what makes them speak Irish, and so on. Excellent. And um, and how how long has your interest been in Manx then? So I mean, is it fairly recent or has it been? Uh, no, I've had an interest in Manx. It's kind of from a research kind of area. It's like kind of a back burner project. So I've been interested in for a long time. It actually goes back probably to the first time I came to the Isle of Man, I'd say I was 17 or 18, uh, which is quite a while ago now. I was cycled around there and I was kind of interested in just cycling originally, but I was looking at the place names and listening to people talk there. And uh, I only realized then that there was a Gaelic language in the Isle of Man before I went to college or anything like yeah. that as well. And uh, from then I've um, been coming back and number of times sometimes once or twice a year sometimes there's been a pause of a few years before I've been able to come back but I've followed what's been going on culturally linguistically politically in the Isle of Man for this part of well not far 30 years now I suppose and but you're in a minority of Irish academics who are interested in the Isle of Man isn't it probably the number on the, the, the fingers of one hand I would, ima I would imagine uh, well there's um, there are not a huge number of people who, who would see Manx as one of their areas of interest but there are a lot of people who are interested in Manx if you like so if you if you were to talk about um, the, the Gaelic languages generally, there's always a space there for Manx. So if you're looking at the history and variation in, in Gaelic language and Gaelic culture in Ireland and Scotland, there's always going to have to be something about Manx in there too. So Manx doesn't play a central role perhaps in, in Irish academia, but it's always there. It's, yeah. uh, there aren't too many specialists in Manx or people who have an interest in Manx. I wouldn't call myself a specialist <laughs> in Manx either. I'm more interested in, the, in Manx society and language and the way the Manx behave about their language. But, uh, what about, interest, yeah. Yeah. what about students, uh, our students at Limerick or indeed at most, you know, would they know one, anything about the Isle of Man or secondly much about Manx Gaelic? They would know more than people in the Isle of Man would think. Oh, <laughs> I think right. they, would, uh, they wouldn't be surprised to, to know, to, to learn that there was more to, to Manx uh, Gaelic. I think a lot of them think there are, that Manx Gaelic isn't spoken anymore by anybody because that's what all the textbooks have been telling them for a long time. Um, I think uh, they wouldn't come across spoken Manx or they wouldn't see Manx texts very much but if you put it under their noses or if you uh, to, to play tapes to them or some films or DVDs or with Manx in them there they would recognize very quickly that it is a kind of a Gaelic language and that kind of makes them interested. Um, whether they would want to follow that up or not mm. I don't know to themselves you know they will have their own things that they want to do. 